welcome to my informative speech on lactic acid fermentation. Um, some of my favorite foods to eat are slightly decomposed vegetables. In other words, I like to eat pickled and fermented foods. Um, I'm talking about kimchi, sauerkraut, pickled beets, pickled onions, spicy gherkins. Um, if you ever wondered what makes cabbage turn into sauerkraut or how those other foods are made, this speech aims to answer your questions. So I'm a potter and I'm also a fan of fermented foods. So recently I combined my interests into making pottery fermenting crocs. This is one example, complete with a lid, a galley for a water seal, and inside is a uh, vegetable weight to keep the vegetables underneath the brine. I've also spent a lot of time researching and experimenting with fermenting, so I would like to share some of the things I've learned with you. Um, lactic acid fermenting is a long-standing tradition of food preservation, and by the end of the seven minutes today, I would like to answer the questions, what is lactic acid fermenting, and what are some benefits to fermenting at home? Um, Flock and Orkin's article in the Journal of Ethnobiology and Ethnomedicine really helps in understanding what lactic acid fermenting is. They explain that every culture has its own fermenting heritage and all the variables that go into making these different techniques can change the result of the microorganisms and probiotics that get transferred to the human gut. Some examples of different kinds of lactic acid fermenting are koji, tempeh, pao kai, chutney, gari, and kimchi and sauerkraut. Um, and um, every society has had some form of fermenting and pr food preservation since um, since some of somewhere from 9,000 to 6,000 BC. Uh, now that we know some of the historical and cultural context of fermenting, let's learn about lactic acid bacteria. Norman Desrosiers' book, The Technology of Food Preservation, and Baptiste Angelico et al.'s um, article from the University of Pablo de Olavide really help to explain the microbial process that makes fermentation happen. A simplified explanation is that microorganisms exist everywhere on our skin and on the vegetables we want to ferment. So when those vegetables get placed in a saltwater brine, some microorganisms are able to quickly grow while other microorganisms quickly die. Lactic acid bacteria is one of the most common bacteria that are able to kill off potentially harmful bacteria and keep the vegetables from spoiling. Now that we know some of the definition of fermenting and lactic acid bacteria, let's learn about some of the benefits to fermenting at home. Uh, Flock and Orkin explained in their article that uh, Lactic acid fermentation can benefit your wallet and your health without sacrificing any taste or food quality. Uh, one example of a way that fermenting can save you money is by um, fermenting foods like broccoli stalks that are often thrown away, but when they're fermented are delicious to eat on their own. Another way you can save money is by fermenting foods grown at home. For Alaskans, this means making the fruits of the summer last into the winter time. Um, and one way, oh, oftentimes, eating on a budget means sacrificing food quality or taste. But with fermenting at home, it is easy to experiment with preferred spices 
flavors that aren't always found in corporate grocery stores. Um, one way fermenting at home can help your health is explained in Flock and Orkin's article. They found that um, eating fermented foods can really increase the probiotics in your gut, which can lead to clearer skin, regular bowel movements, um, increased immunity against seasonal illnesses and increased energy throughout the day. So now that we know more than enough about fermented foods, it's almost time to go and try a pickled snack of our own. But let's go over what we've learned today. We have learned what lactic acid fermenting is. We have learned that it is beneficial to our gut, to our wallet, and to our taste buds. And perhaps most importantly, we learned that lactic acid fermentation is a long-standing tradition of food preservation for many good reasons. So now that you have more than enough information to digest, um, I have provided a step-by-step -step guide for one way to start fermenting at home in the description box for anyone whose curiosity Thank you for your time.